Every month, Google Play Store is flooded with new Android apps, but not all of them are worth your time and storage space. That's why I've compiled a list of 5 must-have apps for every Android device. As we kick off 2024, I'm confident that after watching today's video, many users will be eager to download these apps. So without further ado, let's dive in. First up, let me introduce you to Aegis, a free and open source two-factor authentication app that can help you secure your online accounts. With Aegis, you can create verification tokens for accounts that offer this type of security feature. Unlike Google or free OTP and some of the other authenticators, Aegis encrypts your database with a password or biometric security, preventing hackers from accessing your one-time codes. But that's not all. Aegis offers a plethora of customization and organization options for your tokens. You can review the security encryption details for each platform and add notes as per your needs and change icons to make them more recognizable. You can even sort out tokens by usage, name or group, import and export accounts, hide tokens and minimize the app automatically after copying a code. It also has an automatic backup feature that can store up to 30 versions of your vault on your device. You can even add your vault to device backups through Google. However, if the device gets lost or stops functioning, you'll need to restore your next phone using the same Google account to access your Aegis tokens again. Overall, Aegis is one of the most feature-rich apps I've come across and I'm happy to recommend it to anyone looking for a reliable two-factor authentication app. Did you know there's a better way to access the data on your mobile without having to use cloud or a wire transfer? Say hello to SyncThing, an app that allows you to sync your data across all your devices in a direct and secure way without storing files on someone else's servers. It is a peer-to-peer -peer file sync service that gives you an extensive control over syncing. Unlike other apps that limit you to a single folder, SyncThing lets you pair any folder on one device with any folder on another device. You can set instructions, either use it as a send or receive folder, which helps to restrict accidental deletion, or both if you are using one-time file transfer. You can also choose how often to run the sync and more. SyncThing is a great option if you have large files, photos you want to keep private, that is on a separate computer or a server at home, and not store on any cloud platform. It also makes it easy to share files with other people, regardless of the size. The only drawback is that there are no official tutorials and users may find the setup a bit tricky. However, once it's complete, it will be a lifesaver. Although this video focuses on Android apps, this app works across almost all major platforms including the Mac and Linux. Are you tired of worrying about the security of links you receive in emails, WhatsApp or other apps? May I suggest you to start using URL Check, an app that intercepts and scans links for viruses, trackers and other threats before opening or sharing them. This app uses the VirusTotal API to perform a scan, ensuring that your device is protected from malicious links. To use this app, you need to set it as a default browser from its setting. Then. Whenever you open a link, you can select the check status option. After verifying, you can choose any of your installed web browsers to open the link. You can also see other details like the domain name, tracker and more. Another good feature of this app is that it keeps a log of all the checked URLs, giving you an idea of which websites are reliable and which are not. Considering the uncertainty of website security, you can stay assured that your online safety is in good hands with URL check. Paying a premium for YouTube Music, Spotify or Apple Music can hurt some of us, especially if we aren't a regular user. If so, I want you to try Simp Music. It's a simple music app that uses YouTube Music for its backend to play any music at the highest quality without ads. It has many other features that make it a great alternative to popular music platforms. For instance, it has Sleep Timer, Android Auto Compatibility and lyrics that sync with the playback. 
Additionally, it can analyze your playing data like music videos and playlists from YouTube app and curate music accordingly. Thanks to sponsor block feature, Simp Music supports background playback even when the screen is logged, making it an ideal choice for multitasking. However, keep in mind that this app is still in beta mode, so it may have some bugs or crashes. If you encounter any issues, please report them to the developers so that they can fix them in future versions. If you have been facing signal drops in different areas, I recommend trying out Mobile Signal Finder. This app uses crowdsourced data to show quality for all the operators and connections, whether it is 2G, 3G, 4G or 5G. To help you understand the signal quality better, the app uses a color coding system, with red indicating weak and green indicating strong signal. It also shows the signal strength of the tower in your area, which helps you find the closest and the best one. If you live in an area with bad signal coverage, this app can be very useful. It can help you identify the weak spots and suggest the best areas to move to for better signal. Give it a try today. Now that you have had a chance to see the apps, let me know which ones are your favorites in the comment section. Going forward, I'll be sharing more such apps, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.